What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Pro Winston here with another Winston profile with the one and only Thomas Bo. What's good, T? How are you doing? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm very blessed, blessed, dressed to impress. Um, I have a question for you. Where do you currently live at? I currently live in Fairfax, Virginia at George Mason University. Oh, so you are a college student. Yes, sir. And do you have any hobbies? Um, I like to play sports. I'm currently in the intramural uh, fo uh, flag football team. Uh, I just needed something to do, so I decided to join that also. All right. And you, when you say also, that means you do another hobby. Can you describe the other hobby? Um, I'm, I just joined uh, this new fraternity called APO. It's like a service fraternity where we do like community service, like community things like that. So that's just one of the things I do also. All right, all right. Sounds interesting. Well, I know that one of your main hobbies, because I play the same hobby as Yu-Gi-Oh! Do you... Yes, sir. How long have you been playing the game? I've been playing since my junior year of high school, which is about three, five years ago, I think. Uh, kind of started when I was like with my badminton team when we were like traveling, and we had a lot of downtime between matches. So me and my friends just like picked up a bunch of cards and just like started playing to like kill time. All right, well, do you believe the game has gotten better since the time you started or has gotten worse? Um, it's kind of hard to explain. It's like, I really don't like the format right now just because it's kind of like one of those where three max seeds is necessary. So like it jumps, it's like a, this hobby has just gotten really expensive from when I first started. From, like when I first started, it was kind of like, I just had like this random zombie deck, just put cards together and just did like that, and I can go and compete, and I can like uh, be whatever like tier deck at the moment, like have a shot. Now it's like if you don't have the C's, your opponent can like group your entire hand off. If you're playing against windups, just it's just I'm hoping the band list does something about it. All right, all right. What is your greatest moment in the Yu Gi Oh, and why? I think my greatest moment in Yu Gi Oh was when I finally got my top. It was one of those where I was like, I was just always working at it. I day two, and then I'd always lose in the bubble. Like all my friends like nicknamed me Bubble Boy because I couldn't get over that hump. So I was just like, I was sitting on like about four day twos, just like I couldn't get over. Like I day two, and then I'd go into the bubble match, and then I'd lose to like just something ridiculous, like a top deck or something like that. So my friends would always call me Bubble Boy. And then finally, I managed to like get over that bubble at Providence, and I was just, like, extremely happy until I realized I'd play my teammate in top 32. <laughs> mm -hmm. Understandable, understandable. And right now, if there, if there was a tournament tomorrow, would you pick up the deck that everyone is playing, or would you pick up the deck that no one is playing, and why? Um, I just usually pick up a deck that I find that's fun for me to play. Like, the reason I am playing since forever was because I just love that deck. Um... Everyone, like, kind of, when I went to Columbus and, like, I topped the fit, everyone was just like, oh, you copycat, you net deck. I'm like, I ran that deck for a long time because, like, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing with decks that I have ran for a while. And it's just one of those where I like playing a deck that, make, that makes me think. Where, like, yeah, it's just kind of like that. I just like playing things that make me think when I'm playing against someone else. All right, all right. Where do you consider your skill level to be in this game compared to the other household names in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, I'm probably a notch under them, kind of like that. Like, I can't consistently beat them. Like, I can play a decent match against them, but they're kind of still up there. It's kind of what I'm working to strive at. Um, I don't consider myself a pro at all in no sense or that. I play this game as a hobby. It's one of those where I just kill time. Um, to the average player, I consider myself like a little bit above average, but yeah, not like the god top tier yet. Who's your favorite player of this game? In this game rather than why? I enjoy watching Fraser play. Explain it's because why. like I I got to play in my Kansas City and like he's the one player that entire weekend I couldn't get a read off of. Like all through the Swiss I was uh, naming set cards. I was calling out cards that were in people's hands. But, like, when I played him, I couldn't figure out what he had. Like, I was sitting there, like, just thinking. Like, I had my hands crossed like this. 
And, like, at one point, he asked me, like, are you feeling right? And then I was like, I didn't know what to answer. He was like, I don't know how to get a read off of you, which is probably the one thing is why I enjoy, like, watching him play. Because he just has, like, that stare, and, like, he's really intimidating when you play against him. All right, all right. What are the top decks of the format to you and why? The top decks of the format so far for me are Windups, Insectors, and Rabbits. Uh, I consider, um, what's his name? Windups to be the tier deck is because if that loop goes off and your opponent doesn't have a max C, you're just destroying their hand. You're forcing them, like, you're literally sitting on at least a plus four if they're sitting on a max C. Um, Insectors is because I'm, if the windups do loop them, they can come back with like a top deck dragonfly or top deck centipede, and then it's just dragonfly into like level three, and that deck can come off really well. And rabbit, it's one of those herp derp decks that I can go herp derp and beat you, and those decks are like they'll always be around and they'll see like a lot of play. Do you would you put insectors before rabbits like you just did? Um, I'd probably run Insectors over Rabbit. I absolutely hate playing with Rabbit. I just feel like every play, every move I make is the same. It's go play, get Rabbit, or just summon, like, a 19 beater and just beat. That's just how I feel whenever I play that deck. And it's just, it's one of those decks I don't have fun playing with. All right, all right. And, um, what do you consider, what do you consider the best side deck card for windups? To play against lineups? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, I love DD Crow against that matchup. Like, I spent this entire weekend just testing with, like, my teammates down in Charlottesville, and we were, like, we concluded, like, DD Crow is amazing against that deck. Uh, whenever they try to wrap pop off, you crow a card. Whenever they're trying to hunter loop you, you just crow that hunter after they exceed and go to Zen Mighty and send it to the graveyard. Uh, bring my rack, send it, and then you just crow the Mighty... Or you're crowing the rabbit whenever um you manage to kill it, and then they're trying to bring it back. So I just love DD Crow in that matchup. All right, all right. And um, you are very close friends with Courtney. Yes, sir. Do you think that he deserved all the hate that he received that lonely night in Kansas City? <laughs> um, in all honesty, no. But it's other people's opinions. Like, he took it really well, in my opinion. He was like, I honestly don't care about what other people say. The only thing I care about is what's in the car and who his close friends are. And that's what made me respect him a bit more. Because it was like, people can say what they want, but it's the people that are close to you that matter. Indeed, indeed, indeed. How many tops do you have, T? I have one top at YCS Providence and one top at YCS Columbus and two bubble losses this year at uh, Kansas City. I lost to Fraser on the bubble and Charlotte where I lost to GKs that should be to me all three games. Do you believe that you will top in Atlanta? Are you confident? Hopefully I do. Like, I... I think I slept for a good, like, two hours this weekend just testing. It was one of those where I was, like, I was just grinding out, test, 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 everything. I hope I do well. It's one of those I honestly want other people, my teammates, to do well around me because there's just a lot of people, like, I know that deserve to get a top because I see, like, all the work they put in. And if I can forego my top so that they can top, I'd probably do that first. All right, all right. Well, thanks for appearing on the Winston Profiles. And you already know, if it's not pro, we got the gold deuces.